90s, you know, we always said, um, you know, we want to be as compete for state, compete yeah. for state power. And then probably in 99 and 2000, we said, why not? Let's go to San Diego, go to Phoenix, compete on a national level and see where we are. Yeah. And, and my philosophy changed after, you know, years of coaching. You yeah. know, why not think big? When I came here, and that was 93, 94, mm -hmm. they never, for basketball games, pulled those bleachers. So um, within about three or four games, we really start rolling and um, a lot of community support. They had, they didn't have a lot of success mm -hmm. prior to that. I, I don't want to say it was tough because we had great, great kids and um, we went with the same philosophy. You know, we're going to outwork you, outrun you. And um, we beefed up the schedule. We went from a fairly weak non-league schedule to Maslin, McKinley, Ignatius, Eds right away. You got a winning coach in Northeast Ohio. Um, what does that mean? Not much. Um, I think I told my players there's probably 25, 30 games. You know, tournament games, yeah. definitely the state games. Um, those are the ones that count. I mean, we almost prep the whole season yeah. so that we're ready to play in March. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. And, um, so those are the quality wins. You know, we tell our players about the quality games, quality times, quality wins. So we could scrap 500 some uh -huh. and I could tell you the quality wins. So that means very little. When you look at uh, the program as a whole, um, you've been able to play a style and uh, kind of carry that style over the, um, while you're here. Um, how did that develop and uh, how do you get your players to you know, buy into that system? I was a sophomore at Youngstown State and we played the University of San Francisco. And the um, most miserable game of my entire basketball career, two guards were in my face for the entire time I had the basketball. And right there I just said I wanted to make life as miserable for somebody else as they made for me. Yeah. And pressing and running seemed to do that. So I knew getting into coaching I would love to press and run. We were averaging 88 to 90 points in a 32 minute high school game with teams trying to slow us down. I've always believed that you need an identity, you need a system that 7th and 8th graders, 5th and 6th, know when they're coming up what you stand for, what they better work on. They know that you better be able to shoot the three, yeah. we're going to run, we're going to press. You need that identity. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to be different too. Yeah. And, I, and hopefully we, we still are. Um, but like I said, until I get fired, we're not changing and we're going to run and we're going to press.